this demo is for buffered input stream and buffered output stream let me delete everything we have here so this is a demo for buffered input stream and buffered output stream so why we uh, use a buffered input stream and output stream this is mostly for better performance that is instead of writing data directly to the console or reading data directly from the console you'll be using a buffer so data will be read from the buffer so that our performance improves we we'll also write data to the buffer a buffered input and buffered output stream uses a file input and file output stream let's go and take a look at it let's now create a file object we need some file to read data from so we'll use this file we'll use this file satish and it is having hello so we'll uh, use this file and we'll read data from that file using a buffered input stream so let us go and create this file object uh, we'll call this obj and uh, we'll pass the file name here satish.txt now we have to create this file input stream so we can create this file input stream object file input stream object we'll call this fin and this uses the file object now we'll go with the buffered input stream for uh, reading data from the buffer so we'll say this is buffered input stream bin is equal to new buffered input stream and this uses the file input stream so whatever data that is coming in will be pushed into a buffer and we'll be reading data from the buffer that's it otherwise the methods are somewhat similar to what we have seen earlier so we'll read an integer value from the buffer and we can do in data is equal to bin dot read and then we can do sys out we can print data out once when you are done with it we have to close f in dot close should be performed and also p in dot close should be performed we have to close the streams and uh, we have written data we are printing the first data out what is the first data h h will be written we'll convert that to a character data type and show it to the user fetch so that's the concept here likewise we can also use a buffered output stream to write data say let me first write data using buffered output stream for that we need a file output stream so this is a demo for buffered output stream so for that we need a file output stream say i'll just create that in one line say i'll create an object of buffered output stream and i call this b out and inside this i'll create this object of file output stream say i can do that in two lines or i can i can just do that in one single line and this one takes this file object now i have to write to the buffer that is b out dot write I'll write an integer value out. What integer value I'm going to write is, say, I'll write 104. 104 is nothing but mapped to H and saved in the file, right? So we are writing 104 to the file. Maybe we'll write 105 for a change. And after writing, we'll just go and do uh, b out dot close. We'll close the buffer string. So we have written a value 105 and we are reading that value and throwing it back to the user and for this we have used buffer input and buffered output streams that's it so 105 corresponds to i i was written to the file and the same i was read using buffered input stream so you can take a look at so many methods all the methods are very well like what we have learned uh, with our uh, other stream classes say like writing a byte writing an int writing an array of bytes using offset all these things are some of the methods and these are very similar to what we have learned you can try those things on your own so that's about the demo on buffered input and output stream hope you have understood this